Routing is often considered the most tedious part of PCB design. Even for a simple PCB, you might need to spend hours laying out optimized tracks. And the frustration amplifies when you are working on a complex board with hundreds of components. So in this video, we'll explore smart ways to optimize the routing process either by partially or fully automating it. We'll be using the tool called Free Routing to automate the routing process. And there are actually two ways to use this tool. Either we can install it as a standalone application or we can install it as a plugin along with KiCad. In this video, we'll try to explore both the methods and see which one is more convenient to use. First, let's start with the standalone application. Go to the official GitHub repo for free routing. Here, click on releases and select the latest version that is compatible with your system. In my case, it was v1.8.0 and Windows x64.msi. Once the application is downloaded, just run and install it just like any other application. In case if you get warning from Windows, just make sure to click on more and click on run anyway. And also just make sure if your system does not already have Java installed, make sure you install it as well. So I'll include a link to it in the description. Now it's time to prepare the board. I can already feel your boredom just by looking at this design. I almost overused it at least for say last 25 videos. It's not because I'm lazy or I don't want to design something new. I thought it would be just more relatable since you already know the complete process of designing this particular PCB. So let me know if you think it was a good idea or it was a... Anyway, to start, just make sure you have the PCB editor open and click on file, export, spectra, DSN. This file contains the PCB information like placement of the components, number of copper layers, shape and more details about the PCB. And this is the file that will be used by free routing to generate tracks. Once you have the DSN file ready, open the free routing standalone application. To start using the application, first we need to import the spectra session file that we got from KiCad. So click on select the design file and navigate to the folder where you have the DSN file. Before we dive deep into free routing, let's have a quick crash course on user interface, features and menus that free routing has to offer. Navigation is pretty simple and very similar to KiCad. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in, zoom out and middle click and drag to pan across the document. Here on the top left, we have the select tool, which will let us select various parts of the PCB. And the route tool will let us create the traces manually. And finally, the drag will help us move the components around the PCB. I would strongly suggest not to use the tool route and drag within free routing. It can quite mess up your design. In case if you want to make any changes to the layout or the PCB, make sure to do it manually on KiCad. Now this tool, as the name implies, it will automatically route the PCB with just one click. Going to the top menu bar, we have the display dropdown where we have most of the settings to customize the visual of free routing. I'll just keep everything at default, but you're free to mess around with this. Next, we have the parameters. This will affect how this select route drag and auto route tool will work and the settings will highly depend on the board design, the tools you are using and what are you trying to achieve. Also, you might be very familiar with most of these settings as most of them already exist within KiCad. I would not recommend using the next drop down to set the rules because they'll anyway get the rules from the spectra file that was generated from KiCad and I like to use free routing just to generate routes and nothing else. Finally, the other drop down has the snapshot feature which will let us take a snapshot of the route after each outer route, similar to having a version control. These are the most commonly used options and tools for free routing. And the rest of the settings are either basic or just the basic information about the free routing. If you're interested in learning more, you can always visit freerouting.org for documentation. First, let's start with fully automated routing. So let's clear all the existing tracks by going to others and then clicking on delete all tracks and vias. Now to generate, click on the auto router and wait until all the traces are automatically generated. I know the routing is not perfect, but this should be good enough for us to refine it within KiCad. To get this route into KiCad, navigate to files and click on export spectra session file. Then go to KiCad, navigate to file, import spectra session and here open the file that was exported from free routing. This will get the auto router tracks into the PCB editor. To see if the auto routing did a good job, we can run the DRC. And here you can see it does not have any issues regarding the routes or unconnected items. But the PCB is not perfect yet. So I'll manually refine a few of the tracks and add some copper pores. 
It looks like I almost rerouted the whole design. Well, sort of. Even though the default auto-generated routes are not very good, it'll give you a pretty good idea on shortest tracks and the efficient way to lay out them without going through trial and error. Now, there is one particular issue with auto-router. It doesn't know the difference between critical tracks and normal tracks. Well, you can set them up using KCAD rules, but it won't generate accurate tracks. For example, tracks of USB, high-speed circuits and audio signal need to have impedance control and differential pairing which is way difficult for free routing to figure it out on its own. On that case, we can use partial routing. To do that, let's delete all the existing copper posts and tracks and assume this net is the critical track. And for some reason, it has to be routed in a particular way. So we'll do that and export the DSN file for free routing. Now follow the same process as before to complete the free routing, but now without deleting the pre-existing tracks. Once I get the auto router tracks to KiCad, you can see the traces we have laid out are intact. Along with that, we have also completed the routing of other traces. This is how we can partially or fully automate routing. But some of you might not be fans of switching between applications for a smoother workflow. So we'll see how we can integrate this free routing as a plugin within KiCad. If you'd like to know more about the plugins, please check out this video for more detailed information about how to install and use plugins within KiCad. Open the plugin manager and search for free routing. Just click on install and then click on apply pending changes. Now to run the free router, just make sure the PCB is laid out and go to tools, external plugins and click on free routing. If you get any warning, you can just ignore it. And on the pop-up, click on start now. And you can see all the traces are generated within KiCad and we did not need to switch application manually. And if you like to have a finer control over the auto routing, just like before, you can always click on cancel on the pop-up and use the free router as an independent application. And when you click on the auto router tool, the tracks will be automatically generated and applied to KiCad project file without needing to export or import the Spectra session file. Personally, I like to use the standalone application. I'm just comfortable using two different applications to maintain the manual and the automated process. This way I can be sure I'm not messing up the design by using a auto router. It's not necessarily true that your board will be messed up if you use the plugin. It's just the feeling that I have. I would highly recommend that you try both the methods and choose the one that you're most comfortable with. This brings us to the end of the video. If you like this kind of content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and share it with people who love this kind of content. And if you have any questions regarding this video or any topics related to PCB, you're always welcome to drop a question in PCB Cupid Q&A section. Oh, finally, we have a new Patreon page which will truly help us focus on increasing the quality of the content and also cut short the time of delivery. So please make sure to check it out and see the perks it has to offer. Until the next video, keep learning and keep creating.